So now I'm going to introduce you to PySpark and very briefly, just very briefly, acquaint you with what PySpark is and where it comes from and what it could potentially do for us. Now PySpark comes from something known as the Apache Spark. Apache Spark is a unified computing engine and you may have heard of this in the context of big data. And what it does is that it provides a set of libraries for parallel data processing on computer clusters. And th those in turn are used for processing, querying and analyzing big data. And big data, as you know, is characterized by volume and velocity of data. And we live in an era of big data. And Apache Spark, it contains libraries for data analyses, machine learning, graph analyses, and even streaming live data. Because well, one of the components of big data is that you do end up streaming live data. It is powered by something known as the Resilient Distributed Data Set, RDD. It is a programming abstraction that represents an immutable collection of objects that can be split across a computing cluster. And that's how you get, you know, scalable parallel processing. Some of the most important Spark components, and indeed we will be encountering a lot of them through this course are Spark SQL. This is a package for working with structured data. So this allows us to use SQL-like queries to access the data. Spark streaming. So with this, you can process and transform data in the near real time. So this works very well if you have big data. Say, you know, you have an oil spill somewhere and images are being streamed in for your analyses in the real time. So that's where Spark streaming could come handy. MLlib, this is something we are going to encounter a lot. It's a machine learning library with commonly used algorithms such as classification, clustering, and regression. And we have GraphX for manipulating graphs and performing graph parallel computations. So this is what Apache Spark has. And now where does Pi Spark come from? And this particular phrase Pi should give you a clue. So Spark uses a functional programming language Scala, and which is great for distributed systems. Now Pi Spark is a higher level of API to use Spark with Python. So if you want to work with Spark, you don't have to go and learn Scala. If you have Pi Spark, you can do that. So PySpark is a, is a very flexible tool because it accommodates exploratory big data analyses and that it does by integrating the Python data analyses ecosystems including pandas, numpy and Mat matplotlib and we are going to see a lot of these interactions and intersections as we start working through the practical examples but unlike pandas th that which loads data directly from the local file, Spark loads data into a data frame. And that's something we are going to see. And once the data has been loaded into a data frame, at that, it's at that point we apply transformations, perform analyses, and so on. And a Spark application, it runs as an independent process and it is coordinated by the Spark session object. So every time you want to work with by Spark, you are going to initialize a Spark session object. And that is how we move from Apache Spark to using PySpark and basically using, you know, harnessing the power of Apache Spark and potentially doing big data analyses within a PySpark interface. And yes, we are going to work with PySpark within Google Colab. So, you know, with a view of getting the best of both the worlds.